My name's Sophie, I'm studying Level 3 Graphics and Photography in my second year at Chichester College and today I'm going to be talking you through how to edit your studio photography in Photoshop. So I began by selecting my photo that I was going to use and then going into Windows, Workspace, Photography, which will make your desktop so much easier to work with, unlock the layer and then I want to go down to the bottom to the yin yang sign and go to brightness and contrast and just edit those to make your photo a bit brighter and the colours contrast better. You then want to go back down to the bottom and choose levels. Now most people just adjust the brightness and contrast but levels are so important as you'll be able to see. You'll be able to use the little eye to see the changes that you make and make sure you're happy with each layer. You now want to go back down to the sign, choose curves and adjust these accordingly. And again the eye is here and you'll be able to see the difference. It's really important to check your process as you go along to make sure you're happy with each stage. You then want to choose exposure, which should have been done with your camera, but if you had a little bit of trouble, you can change it here. I just changed mine slightly to 0.08. I then again use the eye to check I'm happy with each layer before I move on. You then want to scroll down and click on your layer zero, which should be your main layer. Then you want to choose the spot healing brush in your side tool panel which should look like a little bandage with a dotted line over the top. You can change the size and the hardness of your spot healing brush and then zoom in and just get rid of any blemishes. Don't erase any freckles or moles because that will affect the integrity of the image, just spots or blemishes that aren't usually there. Again, using your spot healing brush, you can erase any stray hairs. While I'm doing this, did you know that the first photo was taken in 1826 and Photoshop was released in 1990? Finally, get your blur tool, which looks a bit like a water droplet, down the side and just smooth over the skin. And there you go. That is how you edit a photo in Photoshop. Now down the side you can see the layers and always make sure that you don't edit straight on to the image. Before and after. I hope you enjoyed the video and got lots of great advice from it.